The ProGator Heavy Duty Utility Vehicle from John Deere is tough enough to handle just about any job on the golf course. No other utility vehicle combines the strength, reliability, flexibility, and easy, comfortable operation like the ProGator. To help you get the most out of your ProGator, we've provided this operational video. It has important information you need to know about operating the ProGator correctly, operating safely, and maintaining the ProGator for long service life. Remember, you are responsible for your own safety and the safety of those around you. Safety should be the first thing you think of when operating any machine. Always wear your seatbelt when driving the ProGator or any equipment that has a rollover protection structure to minimize the chance of injury from an accident. The John Deere Pro Gator is a heavy duty utility vehicle, not a recreational vehicle, and is to be used for off-road use only. Survey the area for potential hazards. Slow down and use extra care when carrying loads, making turns, backing up, operating on hillsides, and around any objects that may obscure visibility. Keep away from drop-offs, ditches, embankments, and bodies of water. Be sure any loads are evenly distributed and never exceed the rated payload and towing capacities of the vehicle. Travel slowly and allow extra stopping time when carrying loads or towing. Never allow any passengers in the cargo box or other areas where seats are not provided. Since we won't cover everything in this video you need to know before operating, be sure to read the printed operator's manual before operating the ProGator on the golf course. The operator's manual is available in other languages and this video contains a Spanish version. Be sure to share the operator's manual and safety information with anyone who operates the machine. To keep the ProGator running reliably, you need to do some daily maintenance before starting work. Always install the lift cylinder safety support to keep the cargo bed securely raised while servicing the vehicle. Check the transaxle oil level. If needed, add transaxle oil at the rear of the transaxle. Check the engine oil level and, if needed, add oil at the fill hole. Check the coolant overflow bottle for the radiator fluid level. If necessary, refill to the correct level as indicated on the overflow bottle. Make sure that all tires are properly inflated to a minimum of 12 PSI. Check the fuel level. And finally, be sure to check brake action before beginning vehicle operation. Now, let's take a look at the ProGator controls. To the left of the steering column are the headlight switch and horn button. On the left side of the instrument panel is the engine oil temperature indicator and the PTO indicator light. On diesel models only, you'll also find the glow plug indicator. Centered above the steering column on the instrument panel is the fuel gauge, the tachometer, and the water temperature gauge. Below the tachometer is the digital speedometer and the hour meter. And to the right of the steering column on the instrument panel is the battery low voltage indicator, the parking brake indicator, and the engine oil pressure indicator. And on four-wheel drive models, the four-wheel drive indicator light, which will illuminate when you engage four-wheel drive. To the right of the steering column is the key switch. On the floor is the clutch pedal on the left, the brake pedal in the center, and the accelerator pedal on the right. Between the seats to the operator's right, you'll find the parking brake, the five-speed shift lever, the differential lock, the optional PTO, and the lever that raises and lowers the cargo box, and the four-wheel drive engagement lever. On gas machines, you will also find the manual choke. Next, here are some tips for operating the ProGator. First, make sure you are wearing the right clothing and safety equipment, including work shoes, long pants, close-fitting clothes, a hard hat, and hearing protection. Before starting, always fasten your seatbelt. Any passenger should buckle up their seatbelt, too. To start the engine, 
make sure that the transmission is in neutral, the parking brake is locked, and the PTO is off. On gas models, pull the choke knob out to aid in starting. For diesel models, the glow plug indicator light will come on for approximately three seconds after the key is turned to on. Continue turning the key to start the engine. Engage the clutch, shift the desired gear, release the parking brake, press the accelerator while releasing the clutch, and go. Always remember to operate at a safe speed. Training is important. If you are new to using the Pro Gator, practice operation in an unobstructed area under direction of a qualified operator before working out on the golf course. The Pro Gator has a fourth and fifth gear lockout mechanism that limits top ground speed for customers desiring to limit the top speed of the Pro Gator to third or fourth gear. The padlock and key must be purchased separately. The procedure is the same for both. To lock out fourth and fifth gear, move the gear shift lever to any speed except fourth and fifth gear. Slide the lock channel forward to align it with the desired hole in the shift bracket and install the padlock in the lock channel slot. The differential lock gives you additional traction in slippery conditions. To use it, come to a complete stop. Pull up on the lever and hold it and then drive forward. Once you get traction, release the lever to disengage differential lock. To engage the four-wheel drive system, bring the vehicle to a complete stop or be sure you are traveling at a steady speed in a straight line, and then push down on the four-wheel drive lever. To disengage, just pull up on the lever. When traveling, you may have to ease up on the accelerator to return to two-wheel drive. When loading the cargo box, keep the load low and do not exceed the cargo box capacity of 1,930 pounds or payload capacity of 2,650 pounds. Before dumping a payload, be sure the rear wheels of the Pro Gator are on firm ground, not hanging over or close to an edge or drop-off. Pull up and remove each tailgate latch pin, lower the tailgate, and raise the cargo box to dump the payload. When towing a trailer, do not exceed the towing capacity of 1,500 pounds, and do not tow cargo in the trailer unless the cargo box of the Pro Gator is fully loaded. This ensures proper traction and braking. There should only be one passenger, and that person should be in the passenger seat with seat belt fastened. Never allow riders in the cargo box. No one under 16 years old should operate the Pro Gator, and never carry young children as passengers. Before leaving the machine, stop the vehicle on level ground, set the parking brake, place the gear shift lever in first or reverse gear, Turn the key switch to off and remove the key. Now, let's go over some basic maintenance for the Pro Gator. For details on service procedures and intervals, please be sure to refer to the operator's manual and the service interval label located behind the passenger seat. The following are only a few of the highlights. When working on the Pro Gator with the cargo box in the full-up position, always remember to engage the lift cylinder safety support to prevent the cylinder from dropping. Now, as mentioned earlier, the following items should be part of your daily service checklist. Transaxle oil level, engine oil level, coolant level, tire inflation, fuel level, and brake action. After the first 50 hours of operation, the Pro Gator should receive the following maintenance. Tighten the wheel bolts in the proper sequence with a torque wrench as specified in your manual. After that, tighten them every 100 hours of operation. Change the engine oil and filter. And change the hydraulic oil filter. On four-wheel drive Pro Gators, lubricate the two grease zerks at the U-joints and the grease zerk at the slip joint with high temperature grease every 100 hours depending on conditions. There are no grease zerks on two-wheel drive models. We want to thank you for purchasing the Pro Gator Heavy Duty Utility Vehicle from John Deere. With proper operation and regular maintenance, 
using genuine John Deere parts and lubricants, you'll get years of service from your investment. Remember, the information provided here is only an overview. Be sure to read your operator's manual before operating, servicing, or making any adjustments to your Pro Gator. And most important, always think safety when operating or maintaining this or any machine. If you have any questions or problems, be sure to contact your local John Deere distributor. Thank you for watching.